weight saving steps in weight redistribution locations, ideal achievable weight balance. I'll, I'll start at the back and work forward. You know, ideal is, is kind of like a relevant term. Uh, sometimes it's the best you can get. Uh, but a Mustang is always light on the right rear corner, so that's why we always move the battery back to the right rear corner and try to get it low uh, to move some weight back there. It's still going to be light in the right rear corner, but it's really difficult uh, to get a, a you know a really good balance. But for the most part, for for track days, you know, going and like scaling the car, doing all that, you know, unless you're a really super advanced driver, I don't know. That there's a lot of value in that. I, mean, I don't do it. Uh, you know, we get the car set up at the beginning of the season, and we just I just drive it. Uh, but as far as weight savings, I mean, that's a real good point. I mean, there's any time you can save weight, it's going to be a good thing. Uh, whether it's rotating, whether it's sprung mass, unsprung mass, or rotating mass, uh, all of it has an impact. I mean, one of the quickest, easiest ways to reduce weight is going to light wheels. Uh, either like the Forge line, we've got the Apex wheels. <coughs> it shaves a lot of weight off. Lighter wheels and performance tires. And that's the kind of thing you can actually feel in the steering wheel. As soon as you put light wheels on, you can feel it right away. So by doing that, you've, even, you've reduced unsprung mass. You know, the mass is moving up and down, plus rotating mass is going round and round. Uh, aluminum drive shafts, that's another good way to you know, save some weight. Uh, carbon hoods. Uh, any, you know, I always look for weight savings at the front of the car, and the hood is high. That's the last place you need weight, so you know, I'll, I'll take you know go to a, a lighter hood, uh, and just depends on you know how aggressive you want to be. You know, shaving the first little bit of weight off a car is pretty easy, but after that, I mean every every pound comes at a cost. I mean you can really get these cars light, but you're going to spend a lot of time. You or somebody else is going to spend a lot of time, you know, you know, stripping out anything that is totally unnecessary, uh, even extra. If you've got the car caged, you can pull some of the inner panels out. But it's just, you know, there's no ideal weight. It's, you know, what, it's whatever you get, it's whatever you get. Uh, it's, uh, you know, move the battery to the back. I mean, you can play with moving weight around if you're on a scale. But like I say, for, for general track day, I don't think it's worth the effort. I think I told the story before when I first started working for the Speed uh, Speedworks people. Now, they had three Mustangs in, in the Mustang Challenge in 2009. And they were like from IndyCar racing. They were in basically an Indy Lights team. So, you know, their, their, their protocol and their procedures, every time the car came off the track, it went up on the scales. And, you know, it took me a while to convince them that you really don't need to do that. I mean, this is not a formula car. You know, we're not dealing with, you know, minimal mass of weight and, and getting the car super balanced. These are big, heavy cars that suspensions move all over the place. So, I mean, after they... One, one event, we tried it not doing scaling the car, and everything worked the same. So I just eliminated that, that procedure. We scaled it before we went to the shop, and that's it. So, so there, there, are some, there are some thoughts.